Hello everyone, it's Amanda Bach with Bach Star Stamping. Here with you live again. I'm so excited. I'm live. I did not have rehearsal tonight, so I thought, hey, I can do a video tonight. All right, so I found me on my iPad here. Let me move this over just a smidgen. All right, so I hope you all are doing well tonight. Um, I just thought I would get on tonight. Let me sit here. Um, I remind you that celebration is only a few more days. So I want to point something out. To my knowledge, this here on page six is sold out. Okay, it is gone. You can no longer get the Dainty Flowers Designer Series paper. Sad face. I would have liked to have grabbed one more pack, but I did not. That's okay. Today, we are going to be playing with this. On page eight, the day at the farm. So all of these items you can get, plus Stampin' Up! added a few more. To see them all, go to Stampin' Up! on the um, celebration page, and they'll show you all the new ones that they added on February 1st. So day at the farm says it coordinates with on the farm bundle, which is page 34 MC. That's what that says right there. Mini catalog, page 34. I think I... Yep, I did. I marked it. Looky here. Okay. So, celebration items are free with a $50 purchase. Well, this stamp set and dies is $51.25. So, if you get the stamp set and the dies, you can get the paper for free. And this paper is adorable. I've used a lot of it, so I've got it quite cut up here. Um, but just to remind you... It's got all kinds of patterns that have something to do with the farm. Okay, so we've got chickens and ducks. And this is the piece we're going to be using tonight. And then on the other side is some chicken wire. Love that one. Um, there's this red pattern. And then on the back, it kind of looks like um, a screen or something. Um, this piece is perfect for die cutting. You can die cut or fussy cut all of these animals and flowers. And I love that on the back. It's probably my favorite piece right here. Um, then we have cows in the trees and then the pastures behind it. And then I think this is the last piece that I haven't shown you. It's like um, tick cloth on one side, like an old mattress. And then on the other side is vegetables, which I guess technically there are tomatoes and that's a fruit. So I should say fruits and vegetables. There we go. Wait, did I show you this one? Oh, didn't show you this one either. This one would be perfect for a scrapbook page, but I've also seen lots of people do beautiful layouts of this one using the whole piece of paper. It is very cute. And then on the back is balmy blue flowers. All right, so let's get started on this one. So a book binding card, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with that one. I haven't made one in quite a while and I was driving home today from Decatur, Illinois where my son will most likely go to college next fall at Millican University. Um, and I was thinking about what card could I make when I get home? It's like, you know, I haven't made a book binding in a while. So that's what we're gonna do using this stamp set. Alrighty, so this is the February host code. If you'd like to place an order at stampingup.com, be sure to choose Amanda Bach as your demonstrator. Um, but if your order is under $150, make sure you type in this code if you place an order. That'd be great. Okay, so I'm going to show you that stamp set up close. All right, lots of stamps. And then let's open it. I have all my dies in there too. Um, this one looks kind of out of place. I don't know where that one went, but anyway, I like to put them on a magnetic sheet. So I have them, especially since these are meant to cut out these and they're not just general shapes. Like, let me show you what I would do with just general shapes. Um, I have these, that's what I've done with the something fancy dies. I put them on this magnetic board from stamp and storage and in a sleeve here. Um, that's what I do for like shapes, but if they're specifically supposed to cut out um, the shapes of the, the, the stamps, well, then I just like to have them together. Okay, clearly I'm using those three stamps tonight, so I've got those out already. All right, so first of all, I have a card base. A little different than I usually do, okay? It's still a half sheet of cardstock, but it's just cut in 
scored a little bit different. So I kept it um, the 11, okay? So I actually cut it down this way at four and a quarter. So this is four and a quarter by 11. Still scored at five and a half, okay? So that's five and a half. Then score it at four and a half, all right? I'm gonna fold it at five and a half on that one. So it's just, you fold it in half. Nothing new there, okay? Nothing new there. All right. Now, on this one, we're gonna fold that one back. We're gonna give that a good crease with our bone folder. Let me get my glue out. You want something strong, okay? And you don't wanna get too close to the score line so it oozes out and makes a mess. All right. So I'm just going to do it about like that. That will be more than enough to hold it, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now, some people like to put like a ribbon around this part, and, and I have, just not this particular card. All right, so with my designer series paper, I have a four by four. So when I score this, this is an inch, and that means that this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, this part, the square part. So when I want designer series paper in there, it's gonna be four by four, and then it has an even border all the way around. You just, you just go down by quarter inches. I could mat this as well and have the mat layer be four by four, and then this be three and uh, three quarters by three and three quarters, but I decided to not use a mat just to make it a super, super quick and easy card, and you will see that. I am running on very little sleep and I drove a lot today and I was in meetings at the college and you know, let's just say I needed a quick and simple card, but yet I wanted to make something tonight. You ever gotten that way? Where you only have a little bit of time, but you still wanna make a card? Well, I highly recommend this design. Plus it's a fun fold. People will appreciate that. So I've got the chicken wire on this segment of the card. Alrighty, looky there. All right, next I wanna feature the Lasting Label Punch. It's in the annual catalog, a great punch. So I went ahead and punched out um, a piece of basic white. I stamped my chicken and then I stamped, today is a good day in balmy blue. I went ahead and colored the comb with um, my real red stamp and write marker. I don't know if you can, it's really tiny. So I had to be very careful so I didn't, you know, overcolor my comb. Then I used my light crumb cake blend to just to add a little bit of ground for my lovely chicken. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and put in some dimensionals. And I went ahead and did all the stamping because today wasn't necessarily about how to stamp. It was just, I just wanted to show you a quick and easy book binding card. So I just went ahead and stamped everything. All right, today is a good day. And I want to put that as middle, as in the middle as I possibly can. Good grief, can't talk today. There we go. At first I had die cut out the chickens and I like them, but I just didn't feel that I needed a die cut chicken for this one. All right, I also thought that this could use a little bit of bling. So I'm going to show you something that you can order starting March 1st. It's called the Loose Frosted Dots. And the colors are, hey Betty, the colors are, mm, I don't want to say it wrong. It's either Daffodil Delight or Mango Melody. I can't remember now. Pretty Peacock, that's right, Pretty Peacock. Love it. And then Flirty Flamingo. So I went ahead and grabbed a, uh, a yellow one. I'm pretty sure it's Daffodil Delight. Either way, it goes very well with the Daffodil Delight here. So, all right, let me grab it. I have it one out already. Ah, come on. You know what? I'm gonna get my take my pick tool. This is a perfect thing for the putty end, okay? Perfect thing for the putty end. So I can just reach up here and grab it. There it is, okay? I have it now. I'm going to put it on a glue dot. Got my glue dots here. I like to kind of do this and crease it back. It should fit, yep, perfectly. There we go, 
Okay, so it fits perfectly on there. You see that? I like my pokey tool. Um, I know two, some people get uh, two of these and then they keep one as a pokey tool and one as a putty. I like to just get my pokey tool out. I like it to feel better in my hand anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna lift it with the glue dot. I say that, but now it's not coming off. Oh, because I'm going through the paper. Ha, huh? you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna peel it off with my finger now. There we go, phew, okay. Peel it off with my finger now. But I am gonna go ahead and do that, just so I have, you know, I have my fingers free. Now, when I was putting my dimensionals on, I was careful not to put a dimensional here. And here's why. I'm gonna put this right here. When this goes through the postal service, they're gonna squeeze the heck out of this card, right? So I have it so when this gets squeezed, it's not right above a dimensional, so it can fold down. Let's see if you can see that. When it gets squeezed here, I'm gonna wait till my camera catches up with, there we go. Okay, so when it gets squeezed, it is not on a dimensional, so it can give a little bit, so it'll, it's not gonna be super bulky, okay? So I just thought I'd do one of those. Just a little bling, just a little, just a little bling. All right, so now on the inside, that means we need a four by four piece of um, basic white, which I have. And I have a little strip of that, oh, Elvis is getting a drink. A little strip of that designer series paper. He had his teeth cleaned on Thursday and that dog had Eight teeth removed. Eight teeth removed. Oh my goodness. When we rescued him uh, a few years back, he came with many issues. One of them was bad teeth, and they have gotten to the point where I just, I had to do something about him. So anyway, he is now eight teeth lighter, and you know what? I think he is feeling better. He seems to be like in a happier mood now. All right, can you tell I messed up on this side? But that's why paper has two sides, right? You see how it didn't quite stamp all the way? So I just flipped it over. No one will see that unless, I mean, you point it out. Well, they're still not going to see it, but you could point it out. You know, I messed up on that side of the paper. Yeah, they don't care. They're just so happy you gave them a homemade card. All right, so I'm going to put that right, center that. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Ooh, I just thought of something. Okay, I'm going to get my chicken. I'm going to put my chicken over here. Yes, I'm going to put my chicken over here. All righty, there's my chicken, boop. All right, so today is a good day, thinking happy thoughts of you. This could be a birthday, this could just be a, hey, I'm glad to know you card, um, could be anything, but I just wanted to point it out because, as I said, celebration only lasts till the 28th. Today is the 20th. So if you would like this paper and you don't have it yet, the bundle is $51.25, and then you can get the paper for free. Yeah. Um, I did just get, where is it? The host set. So I can't wait to start playing with that one. I really haven't had a lot of time to craft lately. My musical, we opened in less than a month. It's coming along great, but uh, it's it's been busy. So I uh, haven't really had all that much time to craft. But let me see, I did show, uh, let me find the one, here we go, here they are. I found the cards I wanted to show you. So, um, if you are familiar with the Stamping Up world, Patty Bennett is a pretty big deal. And she had uh, a card the other day, a fun fold, and I just had to try it. So this is also using celebration paper. It's her latest uh, YouTube video. I think it's called Fun Fold something. So go ahead. Uh, she posted it before Valentine's Day. So look hers and I'll link it. I'll link it in case you want to watch it. Um, so I fussy cut this flower from the paper. I wink of stella it. I'm not sure you can see that because it doesn't always come in good on camera. But it is shiny. And I did it on Calypso Coral. These are those dies I showed you just a little bit ago, the something fancy dies, they're in the mini catalog. And then watch this, when you open it up, 
Isn't that so pretty? And it uses the paper, shows off the paper. Um, these are the deckled rectangle dies. Now, this stamp set, okay, this one. Let me just see if I have it. I think it's right here. Nope, that wasn't it. Here it is. It was a celebration set from a few celebrations ago called Delicate Dahlias, and it is one of my favorite stamp sets ever. These two are just my favorite. And I thought it just, it went well with this, the, the purple ones in particular, I thought looked very Dahlia-ish, and so did this one. So that's why I used it on the corner of my thing, of my insert. And Time for a Happy Dance, that is from... Mm-hmm, 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 somewhere around here. Well, it's a stamp set. It's in the Flowing, oh wait, I think I remember it. Flowing Flowers, there it is, phew! Okay, I had to remember the name of it. Flowing Flowers, which I also love, and I, uh, Time for a Happy Dance, and that's where the happy birthday on the front came from as well. Okay, so the person can see both sides of the beautiful paper, this side and that side, and then it folds up like that. Isn't that Gorgeous. Let me show you a few more. I made several of them. Here's another one I used with the fitting florets and then the um, Petal Park ones. These embellishments are, they were in last year's, or yeah, the last mini catalog. This is Pretty Flowers Embossing Folder. Love it. And on the inside of this one, I used a different paper. I loved the blue. Yes, isn't that gorgeous? What a fun card, and it uses almost a half sheet of designer series paper. So if you're really trying to use up your paper, it's a great one. Not sure I showed you this one, but I will. Um, this is the Forever Eden designer series paper from a while back. But, but the reason why I used it is because I got the stamp set and the dies for free during celebration. They just added them February 1st. So this is a, hold on, um, papers are falling. There it is. This is one that was on my list. It's in the annual catalog, but I didn't have it yet. But I got it for free during celebration with a $100 order. Um, I loved the images and I loved the hello there. I'm not sure I love everything else, but I know for sure I will be using these. And I know I loved the dies. So I was happy to get them, and especially for free, that made me even happier. So I cased this off of Pinterest, but I did add a bunch of my own touches, including this is the new textured shimmer paper. This is the fine shimmer paper in soft succulent. This is the fine in gold. So I used both of the shimmer papers that are in the mini catalog. In case you don't know where those are at, they are in the back. Well, they're also in the catalog, but you know. If you just want to look where they're at real quick. It's on page 86. It's the fine shimmer here. That's the soft succulent, fresh freesia, and gold. And if you want to see pictures up close of it, it's page 15. And then the textured is shaded spruce, balmy blue, and white. And it's on page 31 if you wanted to look at it up close. All right, so I love that. And so I made a hello there. Hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. So I stamped off this larger stamp here in the middle. And then this is from a retired, yeah, a retired stamp set that I, I absolutely love that sentiment. Um, Let's see here. This is, I showed on my um, Facebook page recently. I was just making, a, just trying to use up this paper and I did, I did. I don't have any more of this. Woohoo! Um, this is just a crazy easy basic layout, right? Three and a three quarters by five. You mat it on a five and a quarter by four on a card base. Super simple. I was trying to use up some old olive ribbon too. And guess what? I did. I don't have any more. It's gone. Woohoo! And then I brushed brass butterfly there. And on the inside, I put a strip of the paper just, you know, because I had a little strip left. Let's see, what else did I make? Julie Heights, she does um, barn quilt cards. And this was one I made using one of her videos recently, which barn quilt, I wanna talk about that today. So we were headed down to Decatur yesterday and we were in the country because Decatur is kind of rural. And 
my son said, look, mom, a barn quilt. So he knew what a barn quilt was and he thought that was pretty cool that he saw one in real life. So uh, I haven't done the inside of this one yet. Isn't that cute? A little barn quilt card. All right. And I think that's it. Yep. That's it. That's all I needed to show you. So if you have any questions, please email me at boxstarstamping at gmail.com. And I hope you try the, the book binding fold card. It's just so cute. A lot of people will put a ribbon through here before they glue it. And that's great. I just, you know what? I didn't have any that match these colors. Well, I do, but I didn't love any of the options I have. Um, my yellow ribbon was kind of, eh, didn't love it. I don't actually have any balmy blue ribbon. None. Stamp it up. Need to get us some. Need to get us some. And then technically this is Cajun Craze. And the one Cajun Craze ribbon I have, I, I didn't love for this. So I just left it. I think it's just fine. All right. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.